everyone, it's Roberta. I'm back to try to create something new. I'm going to mix some of my homemade modeling paste, which is made with baking soda, Elmer's school glue, and some acrylic paste, and I used, uh, or paint, and I used the white. And I need to add a little bit of water because it's starting to dry out a little, even though I do have it in a sealed container. And it's because I've used it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water. And I think I'll add just a bit of glue as well. And then mix it up. And this is a plastic spoon, so it doesn't, you know, stir as as well as a a wooden or metal spoon, but. I wanted to have something in here that I would be able to scoop it out with and mix it. And so I used this little plastic spoon and broke the tip off. But anyway, I always have those really big bags of um, baking soda that you can get at Sam's Club. And because I have plenty of it, I use that to make my modeling paste and I really love how it works. So I was going to take some of this and mix it with some eggshells and I also have some ground coffee, some tea, and um, some of that egg pulp and I was going to shave some crayons but we'll see what the uh, egg one looks like and then after that I think I'll do the, the crayon with the shavings and see how that's going to work. Okay, I don't want to use all this, so I'm going to put some of it in another baggie. I only need to use a little bit. I wash my hand. I've got some of that modeling paste. Let me close it as well so it doesn't continue drying out. And I cleaned my craft area so I'm hoping that I'll remember to stay just in this area here while I'm working on my uh, crafts today. I'm going to leave this in the baggie and it'll be ready. And if I want it finer than what it currently is, I would just crunch it while it's in the bag, make it smaller. So it could be as fine or as big as you want. And a lot of times people keep them in the bigger pieces and use them to make stained glass look. And they uh, glue all the little eggshell pieces down and then they paint and color it. So I'm going to add some to this. And I'm going to add just a bit more. I'm going to actually add some alcohol because alcohol will help loosen it up. But it'll, because it's alcohol, it will dissipate and dry out faster than water would. Mix this up. You want to make sure it's all incorporated together. Okay. 
And actually, I think I'm going to add some more of the eggshells. I know that there's some in here. It's just it doesn't seem to be as filled with the texture as I want it. So let me add some more back. That's the thing about trying something new is to start with a small amount and then add to it as you go along so you can decide, you know, if you overdo it, you can't undo it unless you keep adding more of the other product and then you generally end up wasting it. But if you start small and keep adding, you pretty much get the desired consistency that you want. There, that's a lot more bumpy. I like that look a lot more. I'm going to set this off to the side. I have this uh, set of ATCs from an 8x10 piece of paper that I had done. And did not like the way that it turned out was not happy with it and so I want to go over these I'm just trying to see if I could figure out how they went together I'm going to pause and then I'll put it in position I'll be right back okay here's the um, 8 by 10 sheet of the Nina it's called bright white 65 pound weight uh, paper that I had painted and then I cut into 10 ATC size pieces of paper and I'm not too happy with how they turned out and this particular one I was actually able to come up with uh, something I was happy with and I call it goldfish seaweed and it has one of the I don't know if you can see here this orange oval which I had dipped in paint using this tool it's a cap from a deodorant as put it in paint and stamped a couple of these orange ones and one of them happened to be where I made this goldfish and so I just extended the face out added the fins and then I colored the background to make it look like there's sand in the back added some bubbles added the seaweed and uh, colored the background or the side and gave it black but this is the only one that I'm okay with and these rest I'm not I don't think that they came out the way that I was hoping they would and that happens a lot when you're just experimenting, which is what I was doing. And I have texture on these. And I used the same modeling paste that I had made using one of my stencils. I'm trying to see if I can find it real quick, but I don't think I'll be able to. But anyway, it's this pattern here. And so I did a couple of different things, but I'm just not happy with it. So what I want to do is take a couple of them and go over them with the various different uh, modeling paste that I'm adding different items to to see how they're going to come out. I'm not going to make any completed projects. I'm just going to do ATCs with the modeling paste, with the crushed eggshells, the shredded crayons, the shaped crayons, some coffee, tea, maybe some eggshell crate. Don't know exactly how many I'll be able to get through today, but that's the plan is to start with uh, trying to do that. So I'm going to get some things ready and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. The first thing I wanted to do was to pick up some crayons to use to shave. And these crayons I've had for years. And they're crayons that are mixed. They're called Colorific Splits. I think I probably got them at the Dollar Tree. This one is called Desert because it has these different shades of colors. Pink, red, peach, black. And this one has magenta, a yellow-orange, a dark blue, a green. That one is called Sherbet or Sherbet. This is called Watercolors pink and 
of purplish blue, blue, and green. This has white and black and yellow and orange and called Halloween. So I'm going to peel the paper and shave some with uh, this knife and try to be careful so I don't cut myself. I'm trying to see where the paper starts on these. There we go. I don't want to use, well, I guess it doesn't really matter for the thing that we're going to be doing. I generally try not to use, <laughs> it's not messed up, it's just the way that they made it actually. I thought the crayon had got messed up, but that's actually the way the whole thing looks. So I'm just going to shave some bits of this into my bowl. And I do want to make sure I get some white because uh, white will help lighten it up even though it's using the white modeling paste. So it's already got some white acrylic paint. And also I want to make sure I get some black so I have some contrast. I just don't want too much of it. I don't want to overpower it. And, you know, if you choose to do this, you could choose to do just one color at a time if you're trying to do something with a specific theme. I'm just doing this today to be playing around, just to be experimenting. And that's part of what an artist does, is they experiment. And just because someone else doesn't think what you do is art, that does not mean that you're not an artist. An artist is anybody and everybody who creates things, whether it's painting or drawing or um, molding things with clay, doing pottery, sewing. Artists do sewing. I mean, you know, quilts is an art, and they're beautiful, and they have a very high value, and they're very useful. Um, I consider artists also people who are building and designing homes. I mean, it takes creativity to come up with a floor plan and everything else to create a home. Um, gardening, that is also artistic. The flowers and plants that you put together, where you put the water, you know, if you have a waterfall or a pond and you put some fish in it, all that is, it takes artistic talent to come up with that kind of stuff and have it just be beautiful. And even if it's not what someone else considers beautiful, if you do it, it meets your need, it makes you happy. <laughs> That's really all that matters. Like I've said before, I have a sister named Deborah who is an artist, and I just am in awe of her talent. She can draw and paint and uh, just amazing stuff. And she doesn't think that what I do is, you know, artistic or talented. Um, she looks at my stuff and basically just, you know, hmm. or she'll, she might click on it that she likes, but she never, you know, comments and says, wow, Roberta, I really like that. I think that's, you know, really nice. Um, you know, and some people have the ability to make cards. Some people can do paintings. Some people can decorate cakes and cupcakes. Some people can take fruits and vegetables and make beautiful food arrangements using food items. All that is art. And it's all different, and not one is better than the other. Not one is more valuable than the other. They're just different, unique. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and get some of the uh, modeling paste, and I actually need to get a couple more spoons, so I'll be right back. All right, it's me. I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and use a metal spoon for this only because I can't find my other plastic spoons, and I know I have some. I just don't know where they went to. I just want to be able to mix this more. Add a little bit more water, if I can find it. 
see the alcohol, the glycerin. Here it is, water. I love the colors in there. I think that's so pretty. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but like I said, it's just experimenting. It's just for fun. And what I want to do is heat it with a heat gun, and I know it's going to make the modeling paste end up bubbling up, but that'll give it more texture. And the other thing that's going to happen is it's going to melt the wax. Doesn't that just look luscious? Yummy! Alright, so I'm going to run it through a... I'm trying to find... Not this flower one, another one. I'll be back. i got to find the stencils. Okay, I'm back. I found it. What I'm going to do is use my old, it's not a credit card, it's just one of those gift cards from Walmart. And I want to spread it over on this ATC that I have out here. And it already has texture paste, so... It'll be interesting to see how it lays down. It probably won't be smooth, but that's okay. It's experimenting. It's fun. So I'm going to try to get this down here. And then smear it in. And some of the chunks are kind of big. So they're probably not going to go through there. And some of them are going to break up and go through. So it'll be interesting to see how this comes out. And for those of you uh, interested, I'm a member of a group called ATC Trades Tips and Techniques. And uh, if you join, there's lots of awesome uh, ATCs for trade and interesting techniques and activities that we do in our group. Alright, let's see what the reveal looks like. I'm going to go ahead and wash this and clean off this so that it doesn't dry and ruin it. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Here's the ATC. I'm going to heat it up. See what happens. See the green already melting and the purple, the purple here. So the wax melts sooner than the paint or the glue heat up because they're not reacting yet. But the color is red. I can see a little bit of yellow coming out and some orange. It's getting really hot. <laughs> I thought the uh, modeling paste would certainly bubble more than it is. Maybe I need to add some more paint. That's what this one looks like. And none of the texture paste bubbled up, surprisingly, but you can see that the paint colors did. They came through a little bit. And I think that's an improvement on this uh, ATC. Myself, I think I uh, I like this a lot better than what it looked like before. 
All right, let's find uh, another ATC and we'll do the egg crate or the eggshell one. And I'm going to use another stencil. I'm trying to find one that's a little bit bigger. One of these. that one will work. Maybe not. Okay, I'm going to try this one. And it's not going to lay flat, so, you know, I already know that it's not going to be, a nice smooth stencil because of the previous modeling paste that's been put on. This has tiny bits of eggshell. <coughs> Get that on and see what happens. And really, that's quite a bit more than I need. Put that back. And when you have something in there that's got the grit, like the crayon and the eggshell, you're going to expect it's going to be gritty as it goes on and not go on smooth. Take that off and have a reveal. And that one definitely smudged, but it's interesting. So I'm going to wash this off and I'll be right back. I can see a lot of little tiny bits of the eggshell and then one big piece right here. And it looks like it's starting to bubble up the blue and the paint, the modeling paste. It's getting puffy looking. And it's soaking up some of the ink from the stamped image that I had on there. It actually looks like it's starting to burn a little bit. I can't tell if it's soaking up color or burning. I'm going to turn it off and see if the puffiness goes away. It looks really puffy right now. And then as it cools, it'll probably go a little flat. It'll deflate and probably get all wrinkled. Not sure. But we'll look at it in a little bit and see. Okay. I want to do one where I am mixing both the color and some egg crate or eggshell and just put it on and not try to actually I think I want to add some more paint to this first let me get my big thing of white paint not that one there we go the deco art acrylic white
this uh, color one just seems to be so much thicker with that wax in there. It gives it a whole different texture. And this will probably break those uh, shaved bits up. Not really what I was wanting in the beginning, but that will be okay for right now. Just basically going to coat the whole thing with this texture and then see what it looks like. Got that big chunk of green on there. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to be so thick it's hard to send through the mail if I decide to do a trade with it. try to press a little bit with the spoon and break some of these bigger chunks up. There we go. It's red and yellow on this one. Or that's a magenta one. The real pretty color. And then just kind of smooth it over to the ends. It looks like confetti whip topping. So pretty. I want to break this big one up too. Move that around. And this one I'm just going to dry a little bit. Already you can see some of the colors melting. They heat up and become a little more vibrant. There they go. Look at that. that bubbling deliciousness. You can smell the wax. I think the wax is what prevents the modeling paste from reacting the way it normally does. Kind of tricky holding this and trying not to burn my hand. this one. It's not reacting anymore. You can see all those pretty colors all melted and bled out to the top. Pull back so you can see the whole thing. This looks like a, a hole, but it's not a hole. It's actually uh, either purple or black. Okay, so there's this one. Let's see what's going on with this egg crate. Actually, it's staying all puffed up. That's interesting. 
And then these look like that they got toasted like you would with a lemon meringue, but I can't tell if it's the ink coming up because this stuff pulls the ink up and feeds into this. And I have the, the yellows and the gold down under, so it could be those colors and also that orange. So that would be interesting. Now that it's dry, I think I want to do one on the opposite side. Use the same one. I have to go get that. It's in the bathroom on the sink drying. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I uh, have this ready, and I'm going to try not to do that bottom line and just do the swirls in the top. And that way it'll be somewhat centered. But we'll see how that goes try to crunch up some of this a little bit more. And this is when I put the alcohol in, so that may be why um, that may be why it had that different effect. It didn't dry with that grit like the uh, crayon shavings one did. This is drying puffy and it might be a reaction to the alcohol that was in it. Get the card load it and then let's see if we can try to put this on there all right and then I'm going to clean up Clean up on this mat is nice because just basically scraping and save most of the stuff and reuse it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm going to dry this half of it. It's gone all puffy again. Okay, and then I'm just going to let that sit for a little while eggshell. Alright. Now to do some with coffee. And I don't really want to use this much coffee, so I'm going to put some in another container. I'll be right back. I'm saying that a lot on this one. Alright, I'm back. Got two more containers. One's for tea, one is for the coffee. found another of my spoons. These other modeling pastes are going to end up drying up, so I want to try to use them in some kind of a project today. That looks yummy. It'll end up coloring and flavoring and fragrancing the modeling paste. 